Good morning. My name is Reverend Gilbert Ham Jr. and I'm one of the associate ministers here at Ebenezer Baptist Church. And once again, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our online worship experience. I had the opportunity to introduce our pastor, Reverend Gilbert Ham Sr., who's going to be bringing us a message. Things are going to get better. Man, I'm so excited for you. So grab a friend, a co-worker or family member and let them know that the word of God is about to be preached. But before the word of God, we want to share with you a video from one of our gospel favorites. Thank you, Lord, by the Reverend Walter Hawkins. And after the video, we're going to have the word of God. Stay tuned.
How many thankful folks in the house tonight? If you're thankful, get on. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Speak, Lord, and help us to listen. For I ask it in your name. Amen. This morning, I invite your prayer for meditation to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. In that book, chapter and verses, you will find these words. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Subject for this morning, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. My brothers and sisters, in this life, we all come to the point where we desire for some of our situations to change. We constantly seek and try to improve our methods of doing things. There is a constant cry from believers and non-believers of hope that our world and community will one day get better. Now Satan has done a pretty good job in blinding the minds of so many who feel that their situation is hopeless. And as a result, many have turned to drastic and desperate measures. Some have even changed their behavior. They do not act like or carry themselves as a child of God. Now, there is nothing more positive and powerful, my brothers and sisters, than persistence, perseverance, and the hope that things as dark as they may seem will one day get better. The songwriter puts it very vividly when he wrote, Beams of heaven as I go through this wilderness below. Guide my feet in peaceful ways. Turn my midnights into days. When in darkness, when in the darkness I would grope, faith always sees a star of hope. And soon from all life's grief and danger, I shall be free someday. Now, the Bible gives us 
a constant reminder that Satan is not the author and the finisher of this world, but a deceiver seeking whom he may devour. But God has written in his holy word that we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. But listen, every now and then we run into a problem or a situation that we cannot handle. But listen, when this occurs, there is no reason for us to lose our faith, nor give up, nor give out, nor give in. Because God is the common denominator. The answer, the answer to all of our many problems. And if we hold on, if we hold on and hold out, it will get better. Somebody today needs to hear it's going to get better. Now, those are not idle words, nor a fericious cliche, but a divine truth. A divine truth because we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. I wonder if you're praying with me. Now, one great lesson to be learned from the Apostle Paul is that he always fought the good fight of faith. Paul was always forgetting those things which were behind him and pressing toward those things which were before him. You see, my brothers and sisters, the Christian life is always a life of struggle and conflict against the powers of evil and for the triumph of righteousness. The conflict between sin and holiness, between Satan and God, is a tremendous one. God has determined to save the world through Jesus Christ, his son. But Satan is determined to destroy it. Yes, God has determined to bring peace, healing, and love in the world. But Satan has set out to condemn, devour, and to spread hatred. But we all, but we must always, but we must always keep in mind that God has already won the battle. That it is just a matter of time that all things as we know them now will quickly come to an end. And God has promised that it's going to get better. If you don't mind turning your name as a neighbor, it's going to get better. Now, in the text, there are three brief points that I would like to lift up. The first point is, God never causes bad things to happen 
But it does take bad things and turn them into good. Secondly, when we comfort others, we also comfort ourselves. And thirdly, God is beyond our strength. Listen, don't you know we, the children of God, are made a better person when we have gone through the fiery trial of affliction. Listen, when we go through sufferings, when we go through affliction, they are really blessing us. But regrettably, some allow it to produce mummery instead of peace. Rebellion instead of submission. And anger, impatience, and hatred instead of calmness, patience, and love. I wonder if you're praying with me. Now, first of all, we must realize that things are going to get better because God never causes bad things to happen, but he does take bad things and turn them into good. Now because of that great truth, like the Apostle Paul and many others, we must have an unwavering confidence in God. And remember that nothing is too hard for him. Yes, all things are not good but work together for our good. God is not the cause of all things that happen to us, but his permissive will allows it. He's not the cause of all causes. God is not the cause of the violent murder of a little child nor for a drunk driver wiping out an entire family, nor is he the corporate of our suffering and pain. But he does allow it for his ultimate purpose and our ultimate good. Now God does not always Give us the answer for our problem or thing that he wants us to do. That's what faith in God is about. Listen, no possible trial or suffering should be sufficient to destroy the love that we have for Christ. Circumstances in which we find ourselves cannot separate us from his love. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Now in the gospel, we are given the assurance of the blessed hope which nothing on earth can produce, which nothing on earth can destroy. We are safe in the hands of God. And we commit our ways unto him 
whether it leads us through persecution trials or sickness or even to the grave for as I forestated and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the call according to his purpose Joseph mm -hmm, said to his brothers you you meant it for evil Woo! but God meant it for good you meant it for evil but God meant it for good I wonder if you're praying with me secondly times will get better when we comfort others because we are also comforting ourselves that should be good news listen only when God has taken you through something can you truly comfort those who are also going through something God is always moving in our lives and sometimes he moves behind the scene he sometimes uses grief and sorrow and adverse circumstances to get our attention listen every situation is pregnant with divine intervention now God's power is an enabling power God's power is the greatest spiritual power available anywhere he will help us through whatever we are going through mm -hmm. weeping may endure for night but joy cometh in the morning it will get better it will get better if we will simply change the way we feel and think about our trials you must understand my brothers and sisters that sometimes your trials come only to make you strong to make you wiser to make you better the songwriter said out of all the things I've been through I still have joy oh that's worth repeating out of all the things out of all the things i've been through i still have joy turn to your neighbor and say neighbor out of all the things i've been through i still have joy now i'm not saying that you are to be comfortable in misery or trouble but you are to be trusting and praying for the will of god to be done listen if jesus suffered we too will suffer I believe I say that again 
if Jesus suffered, we too will suffer. Jesus said in the world, ye shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we are troubled on every side and yet and not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of our Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. And finally, my brothers and sisters, time would get better when we wait on the Lord and realize that God is beyond our strength. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 has declared, but they mm -hmm, that wait on the Lord mm -hmm, shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall run and not be weary. Mm -hmm. They shall walk and not faint. Great God Almighty. You see, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And since God is good all of the time, that he makes, then he makes no mistakes. That is why I have to cry out with the patience of old and see if they believe that times will get better. Let me use my mind's eye for a moment. Come here, Job. You experience the destruction of your family. You experience bankruptcy. You have experienced the loss of hell. And I believe you also had family problems with Mrs. Job and that your friends with no help in the time of your crisis hour. And I could hear you say naked came I into the world and naked shall I return. You didn't curse. You didn't fuss. You said blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, even in the midst of your sorrows, you said blessed be the name of the Lord. Even in the midst of your conflict, you said blessed be the name of the Lord. Even in the midst of danger, you said blessed be the name of the Lord. Even in the midst of the storm, you said blessed be the name of the Lord. I heard you say on another occasion, though you will slay me, yet will I trust in you. Yes, I'm going to wait until times get better. I'm going to wait until my change come. James says, when you fall into 
divers temptations uh, count it all joy because what God is doing uh, he's working on you I said God uh, is working on you but hold on but hold on hold on to God's unchanging hand Lord have mercy it may be cloudy today but the sun but the sun will soon shine after a while it's growing it's going to get better you don't hear me listen Jesus suffered on Golgotha he hung there and died now many would say it was a bad time it was the worst of times and when they buried him in a borrowed tomb it was an awful time it was a critical time but Jesus knew that if he goes through the crucible Friday surely there will be a resurrection Sunday morning times will get better you don't hear me times will get better tell those around you to hold on tell those around you to not give up tell those around you to keep the faith for the Lord had promised times will get better I said the Lord I said the Lord has promised times will get better in the word is my assurance is going to get better better somebody say better somebody say better is going to get better the road may be rough but it's going to get better the going may get tough but it's going to get better you may find yourself in a hard place but it's going it's going to get better you may find yourself in a storm right now but glory be to God it's going to get better do I have any witnesses out there I believe this is a good time to give God some praise come on wherever you are raise up your hands and give God some praise tell him Lord I know it's going to get better yeah yeah Lord is going to get better it's going to get better Paul said to the saints in Corinth blessed be God even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of mercies listen now and the God of all comfort who comforted us in all our tribulation this is the purpose that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God so wherever you are this morning proclaim by faith in spite of what you're facing now in spite of what you're going through I have this assurance from God that is going to get better it's going to get better and father we thank you for this word and I pray that you will take this word and seal it in the hearts of your people that it may bring forth much fruit and that it will bring you glory and honor and we thank you
you for this promise that in spite of what we are facing is going to get better. In Jesus' name we pray. Hello, it's me again. I know you were encouraged by that word. Things are going to get better. It doesn't matter how bad things are or what you're going through. Just know and be encouraged that things are going to get better. And if you believe that and that word impacted your life, why don't you leave us a comment letting us know how the word uh, has impacted your life because that would mean a lot to us. Stay connected with us. Go to www.ebcwilmington.org and on our contact pages, leave your information. That way you can stay in contact with us and we can let you know what's going on here at the ministry. We're on Facebook at EBC Wilmington and on YouTube at Ebenezer Baptist Church, Wilmington, Delaware. So once again, we're so excited that you decided to worship with us this morning and I pray that you were blessed and encouraged. Until next time, may God be with you. God bless.